Let's get more on the big story of the day. Meta gets crushed after missing expectations for Q3, giving light guidance. But what investors really seem disappointed with? Growing costs. Meta saying its expense outlook for next year will be almost $100 billion, an increase of about 12% over this year. And operating losses in its metaverse division will, quote, grow significantly. Let's bring in two guests for two different takes on this. Joining us is Lair Hippo, managing partner and co-founder Eric Hippo, and Lightshed partner Brandon Ross. Eric, do you think Zuckerberg's making a big mistake here? I do. I, I do. I, 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 I think that his view of the metaverse is not a view that is espoused by the majority of people in technology. Uh, it's a journey that we don't know what the outcome is going to be. There, you know, the, 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 the killer application for metaverse today exists, and it's games. Uh, and it exists on platforms like Roblox. Um, so, um, what, what killer application is he proposing to us? He's proposing that we live our lives in this kind of immersive uh, you know, world that doesn't exist. But what are we going to do in that world? He's not explaining that. So I think that he's way ahead of his time. And um, if he was spending a, a tenth of what he's spending, you might say, OK, you know, good, good bet. You know, he's, 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 he's spending something relatively small. But, but the bet that he's making, which is about $10 billion this year and another $10 billion next year, and who knows how much later, is, is completely out of sync with the reality of the metaverse. Brandon, do you disagree? Are you buying it? No, I, I actually agree very much with what Eric said. I mean, there's two components to this cost increase. On the one side, it's the costs are going up to maintain the status quo, to compete with TikTok and to fit really advance the discovery engine in that way. And that spend is necessary. It's a wake up call to investors, which is one of the big reasons the stock is down today, but it's necessary spend. On the metaverse side, look, we believe that the internet is gonna continue to evolve. AR, VR and interacting in 3D space is going to be a part of it, but the amount of spend that Zuck is putting forth here is, you know, too much for something that is not um, proven. Yeah, it, it, it reminds me a little bit about the British government and the market is, is like totally rejecting and I wonder if they'll force him to, to not spend as much. Eric, the, the pushback though is that Zuckerberg, and he used the word patience last night on the conference call, those, those that stick with them and have patience will be rewarded. It's happened before when he bought WhatsApp and Messenger and Instagram and, and none of those were monetized at the time and, and didn't have huge user bases and, and all of them actually grew. So I guess the question is on the track record and the, and the trust front. Well, in this case, he's not, he's not buying something, he's developing it himself. Uh, this is something that, by the way, the industry should be developing together because um, you can't end up with, uh, you know, 10 different metaverses that are not interoperable. Uh, you need to have industry standards, which he's completely not doing. Uh, so, uh, you know, WhatsApp um, had quite a few users in those days, and uh, there is no evidence uh, that there are real users in his metaverse. There's about 200,000 uh, active daily users uh, right now on his platform, which is nothing. It's a, it's a drop in the bucket, given how much he's spending on but you, you guys are invested in some of these companies, aren't you, Eric? I'm looking at the list. Nifty League, Genies, Danvis. Aren't, aren't these metaverse plays? They, they are. And our investments are concentrated on, you know, applications that, that work, such as uh, gaming. Uh, we are we're also investors in digital art, uh, and NFTs and digital arts, which we believe have, uh, you know, have a great possibility. Um, and so we're, 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 we're kind of nibbling on the, on the uh, outside of the metaverse, uh, looking for uh, areas where there is activity. Um, what, what, and, and, and our investments are already stage investments. They had nothing compared to what Zuckerberg is doing. But, you know, it, to me, it's a little bit akin to self-driving cars, right? Uh, the, mm. the, the industry predicted that by 2025, there would be self-driving cars. Self-driving cars except for, you know, limited geofenced um, uh, applications, are probably not going to be with us for another 5, 10, 10 years. And yet the industry has sunk $100 billion to develop self-driving cars. Most of those investments, and you saw Ford and Volkswagen shutting down their own mm -hmm. operation, most of that investment is going to go out, uh, out the window. And I'm afraid that this is what's happening with, with uh, Meta, 
that the money that they're putting in today will not be relevant uh, when, when the metaverse yeah. goes up.